I'm Tom Lydon, editor of ETF Trends here in Hollywood, Florida at the Inside ETF Conference, and I'm here with Sylvia Jablonski, who's managing director of capital markets and also institutional ETF strategist for direction. Hi, great Tom. seeing you. Yeah, great to see you too. Exciting times, there's a lot going on. So walk us through the way you're looking at the markets and, and really what are your guiding advisors to think about from a fundamental standpoint in 2017? Sure, well, a lot has happened in the markets since the election. We have a new president that took office and with a new president comes a lot of uncertainty. So we've seen advisors or we've heard advisors talking a lot about two things. What are the opportunities and what are the risks? And I think on the opportunity side, you know, we have potential tax reform, we have potential deregulation, which might be positive for a few sectors. Um, and you know, on the risk side, we might have volatility as the uncertainty factor. So advisors are thinking about what to do. Yeah, and with that, and, and since you folks really specialize in inverse and leverage ETFs, and, and uh, there are more and more advisors that are really using those tools in a smart way to help hedge in certain areas. Talk yeah. about that to some degree. Yeah, sure. So um, you have two types of advisors, really. And one is the group of tactical traders that trade for the short term. They look for short term opportunities and they understand leverage. So they're comfortable with three beta bull and bear ETFs. Yeah. They're comfortable with short term trading periods and they're comfortable with the volatility and the leverage exposure. And then there's another advisor that likes the longer term solution. They're not you know, looking for a product that rebalances every day, they're sort of afraid of the 3X. And on the 3X side, we have a lot of great opportunities. So we mentioned tax reform, deregulation. So a 3X trader might be looking for something like leverage exposure to S&P 500 or regional banks or financials. And the 3X products allow you to do that. On the inverse side, um, we have these negative one beta tools and they're tax efficient. They're inexpensive, they're 45 basis points, and they essentially allow an advisor to have a long-term hedge in his or her portfolio. So for example, if you want to short the S&P 500 because you think that volatility is coming back into the market, you don't know what global policy will be, you don't know if tax reform will pass, you don't know if deregulation will actually be helpful, you put in a negative one product and So you're not having sleep. to sell? You're not right? having to sell, no tax consequences of selling. Yeah, and, and you have that hedge in place. Yes. It's not hugely expensive but it's not a 3X uh, kind of aggressive strategy, right? Exactly, exactly. 3X is great if you have an opinion on the direction of the market, an opinion on volatility, and the appetite and active trading mentality. Let's it's take great one product. example. Excellent, let's take one example, rising okay. rates. So I know you've sure. got one strategy there and a lot of advisors are concerned about rising rates. Sure, so TMV is an inverse 3X bear fund. It's a 20 year treasury bear fund. So the duration on that ETF is a, a, a negative 51, right? Negative 51 Negative 51, years. right? Yeah. So if rates rise by 1%, you have a 30 year duration in your portfolio, which, which is an exaggeration, but for, you know, um, for an example, uh, you would lose about 17% in that portfolio. If you have a negative 51 duration 3X ETF, you can use a small percentage of that ETF in your portfolio to reduce duration and reduce the risk that you have if rates rise. So a seven year duration portfolio, for example, with a 5% uh, application of TMV would bring your duration to about half of that. Yeah. So. And there may be pivotal points on the calendar year yes. where you might be a little concerned about what might be going on, where you could institute a short-term buy and something like that. Again, watch it very closely. Your team and the capital markets desk works closely with advisors to help them with portfolio construction yes. and with these types of ideas, correct? We do, we do. Ahead of FOMC, whether you're looking for a hedge or just an inverse view on bonds, we see a lot of advisors going in for a quick trade. They're you know, monitoring what the announcement is, they're monitoring rates and bond prices, and it's a great way to generate some alpha if, you know, if, if you're right and rates rise and bond prices fall. Good. So. I, I know your team is fantastic. I know you roll up your sleeves and work with advisors all the time. We do. So I'm going to be encouraging people to call you directly. Well, thank you very much. We always appreciate that. <laughs> all right, great. Great seeing you, Great Sylvia. to see you, too. Thank, thank you. you. Thanks.